In this video, we are going to learn about booting. So let's see what booting is. Starting a computer or a computer embedded device is booting. What do we mean by computer embedded device? A small chip that replicates a computer if it is put inside any device, say it's your mobile phone or maybe your washing machine or a microwave uh, or uh, even a game or a toy that a child is playing, if it has that chip inside it, it is called a computer embedded device. So if you are switching on the computer or that device, computer embedded device, that is called booting. Why is it given a special name? Because booting has these three steps. Booting is just not switching on the power supply. In fact, switching on the power supply is the first step of booting. What happens after that? The operating system is loaded into the main memory. How this operating system is loaded? Actually, the first program to run is the BIOS or the basic input output system which resides in the ROM, the read only memory. That is a part of the computer that never switched off, that never sleeps. When you switch off the computer, still it has a battery which keeps it activated. So when the power is switched on, the BIOS runs and BIOS will load the operating system into the main memory. And after that, what will happen? It will keep all applications in a state of readiness in case needed by the user. All the applications that are installed in your system, be it Microsoft Word, Microsoft Office tools or Adobe Photoshop you are having or you are having say Dreamweaver or any other application that you are having installed on your system, they will be kept in a state of readiness during the process of booting itself. BIOS is used for that. BIOS is a firmware. Why it is called a firmware? Because as I said, BIOS is a software that is residing inside the ROM or the read only memory of the computer. So it is basically a combination of both hardware and software. So this is called a firmware. Now you are booting the system, you are switching on. But there might be occasions when in the middle of running the system needs to be restarted. What is that called? That is called rebooting. Why you need rebooting? Your system might be slow, you have installed a new hardware, you have installed a new software. These are some of the situations where you need to install or restart your computer. So there are two types of booting, cold booting and warm booting. Cold booting is your simple switching on the system when first you do it in the first thing in the morning. So cold booting involves loading the operating system into the main memory by the BIOS. What happens in warm booting? In warm booting, the system has already been running and you just restart it. That means that operating system is already there in the main memory and it is not required to be reloaded into the main memory. So cold booting is slow and warm booting is fast. Why? Because the operating system has to be loaded into the main memory during cold booting. So this is all that you need to know about switching on a computer. In the next video, we are going to discuss the types of computers.